Uh, before we start, we always do a disclaimer, and that is that uh, if you're looking for legal, financial, tax advice, things like that, is, this is not specific to you. If you're looking for that, you need to seek out a expert that can you know, specifically work with you, like Chris, for example. And Chris Johnson, we're so excited to have you tonight. One of my favorite topics that we discuss because this really is where the rubber hits the road financially for most people. This is where you can actually take anyone who is investing, who has a business, who's you know just trying to get things going a lot of times. They maybe need, right, we know one of the main things that everyone needs for their business is cash flow. That's what either starts a business as a catalyst or shuts down a business. If you need funds for yourself, uh, school, grants, loans, scholarships, business, investments, there are ways to do that, Chris. And you've showed us over the years we have so many people, you know, students of ours who come to our classes, you know, just like a lot of you did at our three-day summit, and I, you'll probably give the details, Chris. I won't let the cat out of the bag on that one, but it's so exciting because a lot of the people we see, uh, a lot of students at our events come back, work with Chris, you know, learn different things, and they've got some grants, loans, or scholarships, all of the, all of different places. Kind of fun and exciting. It is. Yeah, well, we're we're super excited about tonight's topic, Chris. I'll let you take control of the screen. Sure. Uh, make sure that's working okay. <laughs> uh, technology, Chris, you're pretty tech savvy, so I'm not worried about you at all. Clicking and pushing buttons here, see if I, I shut the thing down or make it work. Yeah, it's okay. working. <laughs> can, you, can you see my screen? I can. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. So Perfect. everyone, yep, take some notes, Chris. We're so excited to have you. If you need anything, uh, Q&A at the end, right? Sounds good. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. I'll turn it over to you. Awesome. Thanks, Kendall. Appreciate that. And hello, everyone. Welcome to you. I know that you, if you got here just late, hopefully you caught that introduction that Kendall did. And uh, thanks for joining us here. This is the bonus session from the three-day event that you were at. And hopefully you learned a lot there. You learned, you took advantage of some of the, the great coaching and mentoring that was offered. I know I utilize a lot of those tools that were presented there by Don and his team. And there's so much great wisdom and advice there. In fact, I've, I've been attending the Protect Wealth uh, conferences for quite a while, too. And so you can reattend as often as you want to. You don't think about uh, you're just one and done. It's, you know, there's new information presented all the time. Now, normally I am at the live in-person three-day conference as well. And I think I normally speak on the, on the second day there. But with uh, the condensed format of the online version we've been doing basically since COVID, and we're continuing for the, for the short time being now, uh, we actually do my particular portion on Thursday. So that's what we're here for now, right now. So with that being said, grab some note paper, uh, take really good notes. And people often ask this important question, Chris, what's a grant expert and why are you uh, one of them? And the answer is there's not many of them. There's what are called grant writers that are out there that work for big companies or corporations or nonprofits or things like that, that apply for grants for that particular institution. But I'm a unique individual in the, in the sense that I actually teach the public how to access all kinds of grants. There's not any kind of pigeonhole type grants. There's all kinds for all kinds of things, business funding, real estate funding, educational funding, and more. And how I got into this really was because of my real estate investing. And people say, well, what did you do become a, to become a grant expert? You know, I became a real estate investor first and foremost as an entrepreneur. And after 15 years of being a young adult struggling to pay the bills and you know living paycheck to paycheck, I realized that having a job keeping me just over broke was not the right solution in life. And that's when I went into my first real estate seminar and learned the, the techniques of investing. And it turned around quite quickly. I went from basically broke to a multimillionaire in a few short years, thanks to real estate and the lessons I learned doing that. But it's during those initial few years as a real estate investor, I became aware of the grants that were out there. Some fellow investors were utilizing some of them. Some of my mentors had mentioned some of them. And I wanted to find out more. And the more I looked around, there wasn't any one-stop place to go to find out more about the grants. And I began to do the research myself. I began to make literally hundreds and hundreds of phone calls and lots of inquiries to different agencies to find out what's available a lot of dead ends, a lot of runaround, but eventually I figured it out. And I learned about different grants that are available right now for uh, people who are brand new to real estate investing, for people who are homeowners, people who are renters, people who are starting out, people who are experienced, money for renovations, upgrades, improvements, all kinds of different areas. And I soon learned how to 
go through the application process quite seamlessly and effortlessly and began to get government grants approved quickly. Soon, fellow investors that hadn't heard of these grants yet took notice and they said, Chris, where are you getting all the extra money from? I said, government grants, isn't it great? They said, well, we're not doing that. I said, you should. They said, well, we don't know how. Can you help us? And I said, no, I'm too busy. I'm doing my own real estate deals. They said, well, tell you what, we'll pay you money to help us. And so, you know, sometimes in life we get these little inspirations. And when people began to offer me money to hire me to help them get the same grants I'm already getting for myself, I realized, you know what, here's another business opportunity. People are willing to pay me money for my expertise. And so I basically launched my grant research business at that point. My real estate is doing quite well. I kind of have the buy and hold type investment and they're they're all set up with property managers. So I really wasn't working that hard. I had a lot of time in my hands and, and freedom. So I began to take on clients to coach them and help them research grant programs and go through the application process. And things took off pretty quickly at that point. Now we're talking about 20 years ago here. I started real estate about 25 years ago. My grant business started about 20 years ago. And you know, over the ensuing uh, weeks and months, uh, reputation really was formed around me as this go-to guy for getting grants. And I soon began to get invited to different real estate groups and conferences and real estate investor associations and business conferences. And I was speaking to larger and larger audiences all around the country. Soon I got invited to speak internationally. In fact, I got invited to speak in, in the UK with Sir Richard Branson, of all people, at a big business conference. And pretty soon, you know, Australia picked up and they said, hey, can you come to Australia and teach us how to use our grant programs? And then Canada and then and then South Africa, I've been literally around the world teaching on government grant programs because every major country out there has got their own version of grant programs. The U.S., of course, is the biggest with over half a trillion dollars and counting and growing every single year. People sometimes think that this is bailout money from the real estate crash of 09 or it's COVID money of the COVID you know, time that we're still kind of in now. And, uh, you know, it's it, those are all extra monies that are created, but ultimately the main foundation of grant programs have been around for over a century. Money to start businesses, get people into real estate and home ownership, et cetera, get people in education. I simply share with people programs I have uncovered and found, show them how to research and find their own programs and go through the application process. And it's really not that complicated. My average client, after learning from me on this webinar you're watching right now, on average, receives over $20,000 on their very first application. So as you think about this, that's pretty good return on, on the investment here. So I'm going to go through with you and share with you uh, what these, these monies are, how they work, how you can get it more importantly. But just know that for the last 20 years, the last two decades, since I started teaching on this, we've helped thousands and thousands of people do it, get grants for all kinds of things, money for all these different areas, real estate, business, and more. And you know we're getting a success story coming in every week or so, uh, basically telling us how they got 5,000 here, 20,000 there, 100,000 there, 400,000 here for all kinds of things. And I'll share you some case studies with you tonight as well and go through some various government websites and show you how to do that research, find that application form, make sure you're eligible and get it actually successfully approved. So here's some starting off slides here I've got for you. And the first question I would have to ask you is, you know, if you are in business, would $100,000 help you to launch or grow your business or maybe a couple hundred thousand dollars in this case here there's money for training your employees these three things here these three areas of varying amounts are all things that we have done for our clients over the years and so if you see yourself as an entrepreneur or in business there's money for you now there's also money in other areas too including education scholarships for university for college for trade schools etc we help a lot of people put their kids through college or university. We have a goal to put 5,000 kids through college or university for free. We're not there yet. We're getting closer every day. But it's just fun to be able to help parents and families who couldn't afford to send their kids to school because, let's face it, it's really expensive, but end up going for free instead of going into debt with student loans and that kind of thing as well. Now, that's one big goal that many people who are watching right now might have. Real estate's where I got my start. Maybe that's what you're interested in is, is as well. Um, who knows? But ultimately, there's money for getting into real estate as a brand new investor, or maybe you're already very experienced. Maybe it's just renovations on your own home or getting into home ownership. Whatever it is that you're interested in in the real estate area, we can help you get funding as well. Nonprofits, there's money out there for all kinds of things too. Uh, so let's go through this and share with you some examples. I want to start off with just some numbers, currently over 7,000 programs federally is available right now today. Um, over uh, 1,800 programs at the state level, but 
when you look at the city and the county, so it's not just always federal. You might find local money that offers funding too. So county programs, city programs, we're talking tens of thousands more, but we're not done yet. If you go outside of the government, I mean, this is the government you're looking at right there on this page. But if we go outside the government into the private sector, that's when things get really interesting. Look at this. 1.5 million private foundational grant programs. That is interesting. This is money for a wide variety of areas, including education, business, and real estate. There's also a scholarship program specifically. So private industry, private businesses, um, you know, use kids' sports teams or, or soccer club, whatever, all offer scholarships to schools themselves. We're going to talk about the millions of scholarships that are available. This is the reason why we actually put so many people through college for free. There's just a huge amount of money that's out there, especially in the private sector. So we're going to talk government. We're going to talk private. We're going to talk all kinds of funding. Here's some examples of how this works. Now, here is a client of mine. This is Rob and Alicia. They're, they're what are called fixer flippers. They're doing real estate deals. They, they buy, they fix, they, they sell, they flip, right? And now they came to me looking for funding. And um, now because they've, they've actually hired me as a consultant, they've got me at their beck and call. Whenever they need money, they, they, get, they, 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 they shoot me a quick email or a message. They say, Chris, we need a grant. Here's the project. Here's the address. Here's what we're getting done to the real estate. My team and I are all over it. We find some different grants and we send them the links, the direct links to download the application form to fill out. Now, with that being said, uh, the maximum grant from a local city where the property was located was actually $10,000. The city offered up to $10,000 for a particular grant program. That's one that we applied for because that's all the money that they needed for this particular renovation. And they get approved within days and the money was in their hands within a couple of weeks paying for those entire renovations on this fixer upper. If they didn't if they didn't get the grant, they would have had to pay out of pocket because they got the grant for this that made the deal more profitable for them. Now, a couple things happen when you get approved for a grant. The first thing is you receive the letter. It says, congratulations, you were approved for the grant and you receive the check. The next thing that happens is everyone gets a whole lot happier. And my goal is to help you experience this kind of thing on a regular basis. These grants really are mood altering. They make you happier. And my goal is to let you experience that too. Now, as I mentioned off the top, you know, this is actually below my average success rate story. I've, I've been tracking it for 20 years. I've got a, a filing cabinet and an email, you know, a folder full of uh, copies of checks that people send in and thank you letters and testimonials. My average client receives over $20,000 on their very first application. So this is one of many that that uh, Rob and Alicia here are, are receiving, but uh, just know that you're not limited to one either. In fact, here's a good example of that. Here's Art. He received three different grants. He's, he's doing three renovations on these condo units he owns, one for $50,000, one for $40,000, one for $38,000, three separate grants in one add up to $128,000. Now, uh, obviously very happy indeed for that. Here's Sarah. She didn't stop at one or even three. She actually kept on going until she had five approved in her first month after watching this webcast. So five grants is pretty cool. Now she's showing two of the five checks there, smiling for the photo. You know, it's kind of exciting. So let's talk about what exactly is free money. Now, uh, Kendall alluded to this. We don't use the term free money. Please don't use that when you walk into a government agency. They're going to send you down to the welfare office if you're asking for free money because that's not a proper term. I use that term very loosely. That term is used loosely because it basically means money that's not yours. It is money that is... Um, you know, a variety of sources of funding that's not taking money out of your own pocket or your own bank account. So let me go through the proper term you want to be using here to make sure that you actually get the actual funding approved. Now, the best kind of free money is a grant. Grants is a proper term. You can use that. In fact, grants.gov is an official federal government website. That's the actual website you use to apply for federal grants and funding is through grants.gov. Now, grants are non-taxable. They are non-repayable. Uh, that is the reason they're the best kind right there. Uh, they're given to you. Uh, now, there's very few strings attached other than you have to use the money as it was intended to be used. You can't take a renovation grant and go on a round the world vacation with it. Instead, you got to actually use it for the renovation. There is some checking done to make sure you use the funds properly. But uh, uh, some grants even renew. You can get a grant once and it automatically renews every year. I've got clients who have that experience as well. So grants are the best kind. Other kinds of funding include government loans. Now, I'm not talking conventional bank loans. I'm talking government loans. Government loans are different. 
We, meaning the government actually guarantees or backs the loan. So what that does is it reduces the risk of a default borrower. And so you can get lower interest rates and you can actually get approvals much easier versus a conventional bank type approval. You see, these are very handy now. People suddenly say, Chris, you know what? Loans nice, government loans exactly, they're very nice, but you know what? Can we just focus on grants only, please? And I hear what you're saying here. I teach everything, and the reason why is because you know, grants are out there, they're plentiful, they're they're nice to get, but if you don't always have a grant at your disposal, at least a loan, is that better than nothing? Because let's face it, your ultimate goal is that to do that successful deal or have that successful business. I think that's your ultimate goal. The grant is a means to help you to accomplish that bigger goal. And if there's no grant or you need, you need partial grant and loan money combined to make up the difference there, apply to everything you get, see what you get approved for. If you get all the money's in the grant, great, don't take the loan. But if you need some of the loan money to bridge that financing gap, there you go. Your, your problem is solved. You get the, the money and you can do that deal. So loans are pretty interesting because, like I said, they're lower interest rates. If they're government loans and easier to get. Uh, and sometimes some loans do forgive. And what that means is they convert into a grant. They start off as a loan. You never make a payment. But after a few years, it's forgiven. Uh, sometimes these exist in real, actually these do exist in real estate investing. They, they do exist in renovations. They exist in, in education. They're pretty interesting how they work. Now, other types of funding include scholarships or things like that in the education space and subsidies exist everywhere from, from education to business to real estate. For example, rental subsidies for your tenants, or if you are a, a low income renter, uh, that could be of interest to you. But subsidies exist in a bunch of areas. Maybe you're a business owner and you've got employees and you need to get hire some more help, but you can't afford the help. So solution, get a wage subsidy to offset the employee's costs. I use these in my business. Why shouldn't you too? Now, subsidies are kind of nice because they can offset hiring costs, training costs. They can offset advertising and marketing. As a, as a landlord with properties, you can get rental subsidies for your tenants so that you're getting paid your rents on time. There's all kinds of uses here. So basically, it's like a partial grant. You pay part of the cost. And the subsidy subsidizes that and pays the rest for you. So those are the terms or the definitions of, of the whole free money umbrella. Let's now talk about why you're not doing this. Why are you not getting money right now every single month, every single year? Because people I know notice, I've heard of grants, but they don't understand how they work. They go online and start Googling and they get overwhelmed with the overwhelming amount of information that's on there. And let's face it, there's bad information on the internet. We all agree with that. But there's also good information on how do you sift and sort and get the good stuff. And the answer is you got to have a coach and a mentor and someone to show you how. And so when you found that perfect grant program, here is the second obstacle or challenge or problem that people have is they, they get the application in front of them and they kind of gloss over it because there's, there's questions being asked about your business or about your real estate deal. And, and you know, you might get a, you know, an incorrect answer in there somehow or somewhere or leave off some important information or miss a deadline. These are all common mistakes and errors that people make. And, you know, in the in the grantor world, the people who uh, approve these funds for the people who apply for the money, they they take a look at the applications that come in. And honestly, there's no such thing as an almost properly completed application form. Let me say that again. There's no such thing as an almost properly completed application form that gets approved. Plenty of almost properly completed application forms get submitted, but those ones go in the reject pile. The ones that get approved are the ones that are properly completed. And so what's my point here? You got to make sure your application forms, your T's are crossed, your I's are dotted, the correct information is provided, you don't miss deadlines, you're asking for the right amount of money and the correct range of funding that's provided in that particular program, you're eligible. There's a lot of things you got to do. Here's some good news. Every application has a detailed instruction page to tell you what to put in the blanks on the application form. Now, some applications are online entries on a website and you click submit. Some of them you print off the form or you mail away for the form and you fill it out by hand old school. Other ones, there actually is no application. You get to create one from scratch. That's called a grant proposal. We teach all three. All three are very effective and don't worry about that. But the bottom line is you have to make sure you make no mistakes. Now, here's the good news with the instructions there. If you read, follow, and understand those instructions and follow them carefully and triple check you've done it properly, you will eliminate the chance of errors 
and you'll be successful when you apply. The main thing is you are eligible to apply and you do the application form. Remember those two things. You must be eligible to apply and you get the application form submitted timely and properly as well. Now, when I say eligible, that might mean things like, well, you know what? We'll talk about that on the next slide. Here. Let me just go through and, and, and show you some more stuff. We're going we're to get to eligibility here in a second. And we're going to talk about um, a variety of different I'll show you some examples of different grant programs and much, much more. But first, the, the important thing is this. When you understand the one two concept here, finding the program and you're eligible and you get the application from them properly, that's when money flows into your life. It flows in it, over and above all other monies you got flowing in. This is a lot more money flowing in for your investments, your business, et cetera. Let me show you what a lot of money looks like right now so you can experience this for a couple of seconds. Then we'll go on to the next part. Here's what lots of money looks like. So just imagine that for a second. Now, you're not going to get a dump truck backing up wads of bills on your back lawn there. You're going to have probably e-transfer or checks in the mail. That's the normal thing. But first, let's now show you how to find that perfect program. I'll give you a couple of websites here. Here's the first one, sam.gov, S-A-M.gov. It stands for the System for Award Management. And what sam.gov is, it's relatively new in the sense that it took 10 old government databases and jurisdictions and smerged, if that's, if that's a real word, smerged them together into one gigantic one-stop shop website, sam.gov. Now, when you go to sam.gov, looks like this. Basically, it's pretty simple. Um, I would recommend you click on the search tab. And when you click there, it's going to pull up a search box. Just like Googling for grants, you can type in what you're looking for in that search box. Maybe it's, oh, I don't know, business funding. Click search and boom, it pulls up all kinds of results. And you can fine tune your search here over on the left-hand side. That's pretty interesting. So that's just one quick little look way to do it. Another website is benefits.gov. Now, by the way, I could spend a few hours on sam.gov right now tonight, but I got so much more to teach you um, and more websites to give you and more case studies to go through. I'm not going to get bogged down in any one website for more than a few seconds. OK, but benefits.gov, I want to show this one to you as well, because this one here, it's similar in the sense that it finds funding opportunities for you, but in a different way. In this case, you don't Google or, or type it in. You simply click the button that says start, click that, and it asks you questions like, what's your date of birth? Why do they want to know my date of birth, Chris? Well, because of the fact that some grants are age-based. That's why. And then the next question is, what state do you live in? And, and uh, they're going to go through and ask you a bunch of questions. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to answer the questions. And once you've done that, in, in the background, in real time, it's scouring through government databases looking for programs based upon your answers. As you're answering the questions, it's doing this that it feels that you may be eligible for based upon your answers. And it's gonna load them up at the end. You might have a few dozen or a few hundred results depending upon basically your eligibility, et cetera, on, these, on the questionnaire that you just finished doing. Now, what's gonna happen is you wanna make a short list out of that big long list that it's found from doing the questionnaire. And how you make a short list is you wanna focus on three key things, name, purpose, target. What I mean by this is every program is given a certain name and is named in such a way it'll sound interesting or jump out at you if it's maybe what you're looking for. So, for example, let's say that you are in a cold winter area like the Northeast or just the North, and you have uh, an old house and it's drafty and your heating is going 24-7 in, in the winter and your AC is going 24-7 in the Summertime and your and your utility bill is through the roof. You're going broke slowly. And now, with that being said, you want to make your home more energy efficient. And so you're looking for energy efficiency upgrade grants. That's what you're looking for: energy efficiency upgrade grants for your home, for your residence. And so you find a program that pops out that you call. Now get this: it's called the Wetlands Preservation Research grant program wetlands preservation research grant program does that sound anything like what you're looking for i would suggest probably not right now what if you're into doing some kind of wetlands research or preservation that now sounds more interesting because it's more like what you're looking for but of course that's just an example of uh, programs are not called the abc xyz one two three grant program that you have no idea what it even means they are given numbers you wouldn't be able to tell what it is by the number but they're given a name to be a descriptive description of what the grant actually does. So here actually is what would probably pop up for you though. The Residential Weatherization Assistance Program. Now that 
sounds more interesting, I think, because residential weatherization assistance sounds kind of like getting your home more energy efficient. And so you click on it. Every name that, that that's that's on your website there after you after you do the the survey that lines up there, they're all just hyperlinks to the actual details of the program, the the overview or the synopsis of the program. Click that hyperlink of the name. It's going to open the program up. Then you read the details. Now you're going to talk. You're going to find out about eligibility. You're going to talk about how much money is awarded, um, deadlines and dates. Now eligibility first. We'll talk about that one first here. Um, that you know might be, I might say veterans can apply, or seniors can apply, or persons with disabilities can apply, or entrepreneurs, or business owners, or individuals, or homeowners, or people who live in California, or people who live in in you know Wyoming. It's going to have different things that say who is eligible, and you'll instantly know if that's you. Now, don't try to trick the deal. If you uh, just had your 18th birthday party last weekend, don't apply for a senior's grant. That's not good. Um, you get the idea. If you never spent a day in the military, they check if it's a veterans program. So with all that being said, uh, eligibility is easy to figure out just by reading the, the paragraph, the description there. Then what's the, what's the purpose? What does that mean exactly? Well, the purpose, what that means is that's the reason why the government created the program in the first place. The reason they passed a law making money available to put into this program, the millions of dollars they create to, to fund this program, why would they do that? Well, grants are around for over a century for a reason, to solve problems, create more jobs, employment, grow the economy, get people into housing and homeownership or, or education, whatever it might be. And the, the purpose describes this specific program, what it's designed to do. Now, um, you might say, well, Chris, I need money. That's my problem. Um, now, how do I you know, solve the government's problem? See, the thing is this. If you are, if your needs kind of match up with the purpose of the program, they're in alignment, that's a good program to apply to. So, for example, let's say that you are a business owner and you've got a need to hire more employees. You can't afford them. Your business is doing pretty good. You need more help. So instead, you can't quite afford them yet. So you're just working 24 hours a day. Does that sound exciting? And now with that being said, you want to hire two full-time employees to take the pressure off of you. And you come across a program that says purpose to create jobs and employment in your area. And you think, perfect, to create jobs and employment, I'm trying to hire people, that's a good match, right? Yeah, I think that is, right? And so what's important to pay attention to here though, is this, notice the language and the wording that they use in where it says purpose or the reason the program is created. And what, what's important is because when you get to the application portion of your of the process, they're going to be asking you, you know, why are you applying for this money? And you want to be careful here. Don't get creative and all kind of making up stuff that sounds good that you think they want to hear. No, the, the, the rule is when you're asked why you want to get money or, or why you're applying for this program, when you are asked that question, you are prohibited from giving the answer. Let me just say that again. When you're asked to come up with your own answer to explain why you want to apply for this particular grant, you're not allowed to give the answer. And what I mean by that is the answer is already given to you. Use the wording that they gave you as your answer. So if they say, why are you applying for this grant? Um, you know, Don't talk about your business and how it's going to do wonderful things in the economy. Instead, it's say what the purpose is, to create jobs and employment in your area. And you might add on by hiring two full-time employees. So they're going to read your answer. They're going to see that your needs exactly match the purpose of the program. That's the goal. Your needs have to exactly match. Now, be honest and truthful here. Make sure it's what you're doing. But if they read that answer, they're going to be way more inclined to give you the grant. I have people who are working in, in they're actually a professional grant writers working for nonprofits or big organizations who've come to my trainings. They say, Chris, I never thought of it this way. This one little tip I learned from you increased my success rate three and four times versus what I was doing before on getting grants approved. So that's kind of a little bit of a key there for you. So name, purpose, eligibility, you understand those things, those things now. Let me show you some examples of these different things in action with real programs, shall we? So here's a program. It's called the, oh, you know what? This is, I should have put this up here before. This is actually, to take a screenshot of this, you guys. Gives you an idea of what program is for. If it's interesting for you, that's name, purpose, why the government created it, what problem they're trying to solve, and eligibility. So you heard my explanation about all this stuff. Let's move on now. Here's some actual examples. The Small Business Innovation Grant Program. This one here is for innovative ideas. 
in you know, the small business world. Most entrepreneurs in America today are small business owners. And so if you get an innovative idea, something that's new and unique that's going to improve society in some way, uh, the purpose is to stimulate more business innovation. That's the purpose of the program. And so, again, back to that, that, that purpose there. Uh, you know, your answer, part of your answer is going to say to stimulate business innovation by doing these wonderful things that you're doing. So use their wording in your answer. Now, you must be at least 51% owned by someone who's legal. <laughs> that's that's the eligibility right there. Any business uh, that, that is 51% uh, owned by citizens or residents. So that's a good idea there. Now, boost your business, boost the business. This is actually for uh, people transitioning from active service to, to private civilian life but they're going directly into business ownership. They want to start a business. The day they are discharged from the military is the day they launch their business. Now you can, don't be that, that very day, but soon thereafter, you're basically not going to enter the job market. You're going to enter the business ownership market and it provides money to start your business. It's available to both service members and their spouses. Here's another one. The Women Business Ownership Program. This one is for encouraging more women to own a business. Now, why would the government be you know, sexist in this kind of a way. Uh, why are they overlooking the men? Now, guys sometimes think there's no money for men. When I show this slide, I have to be careful. Guys, there's plenty of money for you. There's a lot of programs. This is one program of many. Almost all programs include men. This is one extra one for ladies, so you can relax now. But this program, the whole purpose is to help the ladies catch up to the men. It's all basically because men have had it far too good for far too long. Uh, you know, similar uh, context, there's many programs for minorities. And so now the white guys get all worried. No, there's plenty of programs for the white guys, but there's a lot of programs additional for minorities and women entrepreneurs too. So it's all designed to play catch up and help out people who've traditionally been underserved or overlooked. Now, the eligibility here is you must be at least 51% owned by women. So guys, if you just realize there, if you're in business with anybody who's got ownership in the same company that you do, as long as the she's own more of it than the he's, that's a good thing. Now, a lot of husbands and wives will will, will form a, 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 or they'll do some share exchanges to make sure that she's got at least 51% uh, ownership of the company. Because let's face it, the average grant paid out is $75,000. Could that help you get a, a business going or expanded? I think you'd agree that it would there. So there's all kinds of neat ideas you can do here in the grant world. Now, Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go through and share with you some real estate examples and show you some things that I do personally and things that my clients are doing and give you some examples there and also back it up with case studies. So I'll show you an example from pretty much each of these in a case study. And then we're going to switch over and go through some education things quickly. I know a lot of people on here right now are interested in real estate. That's exciting. A lot of people on here are also interested in getting their kid in education for free or their grandchild. So pay attention. I'll show you that in a few minutes as well. Um, and then after that, people often, I mean, I know that Kendall was telling me that people were, you know, emailing their office and saying, we're excited about this grant talk that we're doing on Thursday. And they're asking Kendall and, and Dawn in advance if, if there's a way that, you know, after we're done tonight, that they can get some extra help and coaching from me. And the short answer is yes, but I won't dwell on it too long here, but I'll take a couple minutes if that's okay with you. I'll go through the real estate, I'll go through the education. Then I'll spend a couple of minutes and share with you a couple of things I do to help my clients out. And after that, we'll circle back. We'll talk business funding, and then I'll make some more fun announcements with you. Um, and uh, and then we'll do the Q and A at the end, like Kendall mentioned there at the top. So in real estate, it's already showing energy upgrades. We talked about that briefly. Um, you know, this is appliances, windows, doors, weather stripping. There's a wide variety of things. Your utility companies pretty much are in the know as to what is offered because they have the most to benefit by helping lowering energy demand. And uh, basically, they, they offer a lot of great incentives. So they're not offered by them directly, but they'll advertise them for you. Your state will as well, or just simply a quick Google search will show what's available in your area there as well. We've had people receive a few thousand dollars to tens of thousands of dollars in free upgrades on their properties through that. Here's Lauren. I'm writing to thank you for your program. I've received two federal grants. One is the Home Energy Assistance Program, and the second one is the Residential Weatherization Assistance Program. We get help with our bills and making our home more weather is you know um, the weatherization improved of course over home. Your grant program, you said, was critical and essential in my becoming aware of these grants and actively receiving them. I've been telling my friends all about these grants and thank you again, Chris Johnson, for your program. So you know, Lauren was so excited here because he had all this money coming at him from these two different programs. It could be something that you might be are interested in as well uh, as when we're done here. Now, down payment assistance. This is monies from the states. Typically, most states have this. 
where you can get money to pay for down payment assistance to pay towards buying a home for first time home buyers. And this is a pretty exciting area because we've gotten tens of thousands of dollars for our clients over the years, helping them get into and offsetting those upfront costs and down payment costs. So it really helps. They still make the mortgage payments. There's no such thing as having a whole house bought for you for free from a grant program, but getting the down payment covered can be the big difference in, in not owning a home and owning a home for a lot of people as well. Now, opportunity zones, this is a more of a tax strategy. I don't know if Scott touched on this during the three days or, um, or, or if it was really even talked about, but basically when you do a Google search of the US of opportunity zone map on Google, you'll see something like this. And those blue blobs all over the country there, those are actually the zones. Those are the opportunity zones. And here's the deal. And here's how it ties into grants. Um, you know, you, you actually have to pay uh, capital gains tax on your uh, profit you make in your stocks and your real estate. Now, of course, you're going to minimize those taxes if you're a student of Patrick James and Scott Estill and Don and Kendall's, of course, and learn all the strategies, which I'm not here to talk about right now. But just know that if you are given a choice of of paying tax or instead of paying the government that money, you could actually use that same money you'd have to pay tax with and instead buy a house with it that you get to keep and own, would you probably pay the tax and have nothing or buy a house instead? I think you choose buy a house. That's what this is. It allows you to buy a house and avoid the taxes. And the deal is you have to do a renovation on that property. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be significant. Just something to make it improved. And here's where the grants come in. These opportunity zones, almost all of them have grant programs that will help to fund those improvements. So you save tax dollars, you own more real estate, and you get it paid for with a grant. Is that pretty cool? That is opportunity zones right there. Next is uh, community development block grants. This is actually federal funds paid out locally. Your local government will decide what the priorities are, whether it's economic revitalization, whether it's low-income housing, whatever it is, if you are involved in doing those types of things, you can get that money as well. There's, there's a wide variety of different things there. So just talk to your local government and find out you know, what their priorities are and what grants are coming out of those priorities that you might be able to benefit from as well. Housing and Urban Development. So HUD.gov, federal agency, offers a variety of rehab programs. And I'll show you some examples of those here in a second. Housing rehab grants, the, the best ones come from the city and the county. And I'm going to show you some examples of those in the next slide or two as well. Um, just know that it's covering historical, commercial, multifamily, and more. I utilize grants for all three of these, as do my clients. Let's take a look at some. Here's Carol. She says, dear Chris, this stuff really works. I got two grants to repair my four houses. The process of getting grants went very smoothly. The first grant was for $9,854, and the second grant was for $17,493, a total of $27,000. $347. My cost on the renovations, improvements, the painting, flooring, doors, windows, et cetera, that was done in these houses was zero, not one thin dime. Thanks, Chris, for teaching about the grants that are available, how to make it happen. Now think about that. $27,000 that she did not have to spend to improve and rehab those properties, that was basically all grant monies that made those four houses that she was investing in that much more of a, a profitable deal for her. That's a great example there of people using grant programs wisely. Here's Jerome LaShawn. They came to a, a class I was teaching to learn how to get their kids' school paid for their, their scholarships. And as they're sitting there, they're thinking to themselves, because I'm talking about real estate, I'm talking about business. They said, you know what? We're here for education, but we might as well get you know the whole bit of information here. And as I'm talking about real estate, they're thinking, they told me that they got kids, dog, mortgage, no extra money. And the idea of buying rental properties was for them, far fetch of an idea. And so they, they got the scholarships for their daughter. They got what they came for, which is great. I'm not talking about that in this example, though. Um, but what happened as a result of leaving the seminar, they started thinking about it. You know what? We'll apply for this, the scholarships for a daughter. And I, I, they got those. But they also thought, you know what? Let's just, just for fun, let's send an application and see how much money we can get for real estate. And in 90 days, they get approved for $58,000. They weren't really planning on doing this. They used that money as down payment money to cover the purchase costs of three rentals. Now they've, they cost them nothing out of pocket. They now own three income producing rental properties. They still have to make the mortgage payments, of course, but who makes the mortgage payment? The renters. And so they had the down payment covered that qualified them to buy the renters, nothing out of their own pocket, zero dollars invested from them. And they've got positive cash flow coming off those properties because they're charging more in rent than the taxes, insurance, and the, and the mortgage was costing them. 
They said, Chris's program has changed our lives. It's helped us to move closer to making our dreams come true. So, you know, this is just fun to be able to help people in this, you know, these endeavors. Here's Beverly. Uh, she applied to housing and urban development. HUD got a grant check for $26,000, non-repayable grant. And she got everything fixed up in the front of that building right there. Just fantastic. Happy indeed. I did it. I'm proof it can be done, she says. Mark and Tracy, using your guidance and valuable input, we were awarded two grants for $75,000 each for a housing project we're working on. Um, I could go on and on and on here, but just know that, that oh, here's another one. I mean, these these are these, a, lot, a lot of these are students of Protect Wealth and, and Kendall and Don's. Hundred forty five thousand for the Youngs for their uh, assisted living business, and uh, you know this is just a good good example here of how this money can help you no matter what you're doing. Now I did mention we're going to switch over to education briefly. Let's do that. Just know it's the entire educational spectrum from preschool to private school to going back to school to you know furthering your education getting scholarships academics athletics etc um you know getting your advanced degrees your masters any area of study from business to computer science to med school law school we've put people doctors through law school i not, not i got the backwards we put lawyers through law school doctors through med school for free they didn't start as a lawyer or a doctor but they came out as a lawyer or a doctor they came to me first and said i can't afford to go to law school i can't afford to go to med school please help we found the grants, we found the scholarships, but we helped in all kinds of areas, overseas travel, international travel um, for schooling, paid for the trip, the travel, the, the university, um, you know, domestically is most of what we do. Most colleges and universities across America today, we've put kids through college, uh, thousands of them. It's just fun to be able to do this. Here's the secret. You got to plan early, plan ahead. Don't start looking up and researching grants and scholarships. Uh, a few months before your kid's graduating. Start a year in advance because otherwise it's way too stressful. You're going to miss most of the opportunities because these programs start, the applications are already underway right now for the next school year. So right now we're in the spring. You got to use this now for the following year. You got you to basically, basically start a year ago finding out the programs that are available. And then as soon as they start accepting, that day they open up, send those applications. Now here's the real formula. With with business and real estate applications, two or three applications, that's the norm. Sarah got five. Um, I showed you Art, he got three, right? But with education, it's three or four dozen. That's the secret formula. You gotta be applying for a lot of different scholarships. There's, remember there's 2.7 million scholarship programs available in the private sector, as well as the government. Start with everything the state offers, avoid the student loans, apply everything federally. Uh, the foundations offer a lot. There's 1.5 million private foundational grants. Big business industry. Go to Google and type in any company you can think of. Any company, any big national company you can think of that's got a lot of stores and, and locations. And the word scholarship into Google. The company name and the word scholarship. The first results are Home Depot scholarship, Starbucks scholarship, McDonald's scholarship, your kid's sports team. You name it. You'll find a lot. Here's how this results. This is this is Eileen Schwartz. Chris, thank you so much. Using your program, we received a $25,000 grant from the I even mentioned the colleges and universities. They offer grants and scholarships too. $25,000 from the college, $5,860 from the federal government, uh, $4,500 in federal 0% loans. So this actual loan converts into a grant upon day of graduation. It paid for everything for the Schwartz family. That's pretty nice, right? That's what, $35,000-ish? Here's the Gloucester family, $227,000-ish. They received a foundation fellowship. They received a university scholarship. No government money here, actually. Almost a quarter million dollars. I'd like to thank you and your staff for the excellent job in helping my wife and me identify what resources are available, says Glenn Gloucester, proudly holding up the paperwork there as his son went off to college or university there. Now, here is... Oh, this, no, I'm not sure if you know anybody who's got student loan debts hanging over their head. Now, if that's you, I'm sorry to bring it up, but they're there, right? And we're hearing in the news lately, the last few months, about the Biden student loan program is tied up in courts. Whatever your position on that is, um, I'm not talking about that. I have four ways to get rid of student loan debts that's not bankruptcy related. And these four ways, for example, volunteer service or relocation. Um, there's also a length of time and an ability to repay. This is Rochelle. She came to a, a class I was teaching. She had two student loans and she described them to me. She said, Rochelle, I think you qualify for the student loan debt reduction grant program. I said, here's the form. Send it in. In three weeks, boom, they were gone. Both her student loans were eliminated just by sending in a one-page application form. Uh, look at her smiling there. So happy indeed. 
cute kids, awesome family. Uh, El Dean there in the middle, he's got the biggest smile. Uh, just happy indeed. Now, here is another example. This is Sue. Uh, very grateful, Chris, for your grant program and expert guidance. As a result of your course materials and your one-on-one -on -one consulting within one month, I had located, applied for, and received $109,076 of student loan forgiveness that I didn't even know I qualified for. I didn't know I qualified for it. Thank you, she says. So think about this. This is $100,000 that she was dealing with, trying to make payments to, carry around, and we helped her get rid of it. It's fantastic. So I hope you're enjoying this so far because I got so much more to teach you here. Now, people ask, how can I help them? What do I do to offer services and advice? Well, a bunch of things is the answer, but let me go through a couple of specific ones with you first. You know, a program I created about oh, 13 years ago is called The Grant Locator. What it is, is it's where I come to your house every month by the magic of audio, CD, and newsletter. Now, it's like as I'm right there in your living room teaching you a bunch of topics. On this audio CD, I teach you real estate advice, business advice, education and scholarships advice, application advice, how to use the internet. And I mean, you know how to use the internet, but very specific government websites and ways to find, identify and download application forms. I go through all this. I also interview clients and my client interviews are so in-depth, my clients will teach you exactly what to do. So I teach you about six or seven topics every month. And people love the client success interviews I teach, as you can learn from them exactly how this works. Now, I know that CDs are kind of old technology. I get that. I understand that. They're 1980s technology. And, you know, if you're, if you're born after the year 2000, you probably don't even know what a CD even is. But, uh, you know, we, we still have a CD player in our house, believe it or not. We still have CD players in our cars, believe it or not. Now, but if you are an online streamer, like let's face it, most of us are nowadays, I give you this in online streaming too. You don't have to have the CD. You can have this online or CD or both if you want to. Um, and, you know, I mean, basically, this is offered in a monthly subscription format. And the cost is, in case you're curious, $79 plus tax and shipping. Now, with that being said, Kendall reminded me how you guys did lots of draws on the three days and people are winning all kinds of free stuff. And he told me that you like free stuff. And so my question is, um, would you be interested in getting a couple of these for free before we're done here on this, on this webinar tonight? If the answer to that is yes, is hang on a few more minutes. I'm going to show you how to get a couple of these for free. Sound good? So let's keep on going now and talk about other ways I can help you. I also have a, a deep dive quick start class I teach online. Now that screenshot you're looking at the bottom here of, this, of the window looks kind of like me right now, doesn't it? It's me on Zoom teaching you how to do this. And so we go through dozens of government websites. I have a 96 page uh, booklet you get for coming on this class. I go through, uh, actually, we actually fill out application forms right there. We go through so much information. Um, you're gonna learn quickly how to find your grant. Uh, what, no matter what topic you're interested in, we help you to do it, get your applications done, your business plans done. Uh, I do charge a fee for this class. It does cost $500. Now, is it worth it? Well, I think it is because let's face it, you're getting you know tens of thousands on average as a result of being a student of mine on your very first application. That's a pretty good return on this investment. I think you'd agree with that. Now, with that being said, before we're done tonight, I'm going to show you how to get this for free as well. So hold on to that thought too. Okay, so that is just another exciting thing I, get, I teach and help my clients with. Now, what else do I have? Oh, uh, the best thing I got is my is my one on one consulting. This one here, you know, just by the sound of that right there, it sounds like a little bit more in cost. No, it is because you tell me what kind of grant you want, and I work with you individually. I do extensive and thorough research for you. I review your business plan. I review your application forms. I help you every step of the way. Now. I don't help you for a week or a month. I help you for a year. Why a year? The answer is multiple grants, multiple grants, more than one, as many as we can get. Now, I give you a full year because I find that, you know, in a month or two, people are still learning the ropes a little bit. So I just give you a full year. Plus, people get busy. They take vacations. They got family. I understand that. So I give you a full entire year of me unlimited. Now, we do it by email. And the reason we do it by email is because I work with so many people, I can't remember our exact conversation. I'm selling you documents back and forth and reviewing your application forms back and forth. Email keeps an ongoing time stamp, stamped record of our conversations back and forth. So we do it by email. And I am told I ought to charge more money. And I agree with that. And I, I, I realize I, I work far too inexpensively, but you know, I am holding the price down. I'm, I'm showing you my pre-COVID pricing here. And I'm holding it down for now. 
And so $10,000 a year is what I charge. So unlimited for a full year of me, one-on-one, 10,000. I know, inexpensive, right? Now, this one is not for free at the end, but the other two are. But these are just some different ways I work with clients and help them out. If you are interested in this one, ask me when we're done. Shoot a message to Kendall and we'll we'll work with you on that as well, okay? So that is that one. Now, let's circle back and talk business funding. Now, business funding is what most people watching right now are interested in because let's face it, if you're investing in real estate, you've got a business. It's called a real estate investor. Or let's say you've got any kind of online business or offline business or whatever business, you're making money, your plan is to make money, there's money to start a business and grow your business, hire employees, train them, et cetera. Um, let's face it, there's money from the SBA. Now, the SBA.gov is the website, mostly loans there by, by the, mind you, this is the government-backed loans here through SBA.gov, but there's actually six federal agencies from Department of Agriculture to Department of Commerce, et cetera, that offer business grants. And my goal is to help you fund the grants and the loans. Now, you're going to find that USA.gov slash business is a good starting point for you to learn more about this and, and figure this out. But you'll see that your state, your county, your city will also offer business what are called incentives. Now, these might come in the form of tax breaks or they might come in the form of grants or uh, subsidies or all kinds of things. You'll find that, that there's also in-kind donations. In-kind, what that means is it's not money, but you get something of value. So it might be you get free office space or you might get free employees uh, instead of a, an actual check. So all of these things will benefit your business. And that's just you know a, a, a unique part of that. But most of them are, are, are checks and money and, and grants, et cetera, as well. Now, as we go through your real estate business, your real estate business can get funding from business funding and the real estate grant. So I showed you the real estate stuff already. The business stuff can all fund and fuel your real estate investing business. I use business grants for my real estate investing, as well as the real estate grants as well earlier. It can be for any business though. It could be for an online business, brand new business, um, an existing business, a home-based business, money for startup capital, equipment, advertising, employees, and more. There's all kinds of areas you can fund with these business grants. Here's some good examples. Jason applied to the uh, local development authority and was awarded $25,000. He says, Chris, your course helped me to locate and find this opportunity. I would recommend this course to everyone who's looking for free money. Here's my, my check for $25,000. He's a happy man indeed. Now here is, who's this one? Oh, this is um, this is Maritza. Now Maritza here, she's a brand new investor, just starting out, had no money. And now she applied to a business program to get the money to fund her real estate investing. And that was kind of the shortcut for her. Got 30,000 approved in three weeks. So that's pretty exciting. Happy for her, her, her uh, success there. Here's Brian. Brian's got employees. I'll take a look at this. Chris, your seminar got us moving and motivated to follow up on what money we can get back from the government to uh, fund our business that we run. And we did a research and found an organization that deals with employment funding. We obtained a targeted wage subsidy program where employers receive a subsidy of up to 60%. This is more than half, you guys, of the hourly wage for up to seven, eight weeks. That's more than a year. and That's a year and a half exactly. Once we submitted the form, it took only four weeks to get the check. So a month to get the money to pay for a year and a half's worth of employees uh, more than half of it. That's pretty cool. Brian is a happy guy there. Now, here's Pat. She actually is doing an, uh, an online business. She's selling stuff on eBay and Amazon, et cetera. And she she actually applied. She went to my workshop, my seminar, and the, she actually applied the next day, got a call back the day after that, and within a week, got $10,000 sent to her. It can be that quick, you guys. We have people getting approvals in 24 hours. I'm thrilled I'm using these funds to buy more stuff to sell online. So she's just using the money to buy more stuff to sell at a higher cost. So that's pretty cool. Now, and, and you know, you know, here's Karen. She didn't stop at one or two or three. She got six different grants for her business. So I said, Karen, can I interview you for the grant locator? She says, sure, I'd love to. I said, why did you get six grants? That's my first question. Why six grants? How did you get six grants approved? You know, her answer was, she says, Chris, you know why. I said, Karen, I know I know why. I'm asking you as if I'm, a client doesn't know why you got six grants approved. So, so explain explain to our listeners like I don't know anything. She's oh yeah, I did exactly what you said. She said, I said okay. What did she do? Now you guys know the answer because I already taught you. She made sure that she found six grants that she was what she was eligible. She found six grants she was eligible for, and the second thing that she did was she followed the instructions. 
And she she got those done perfectly, properly, crossed her T's, got her I's dotted, made sure there's no errors, submitted the application forms. Because she was eligible for six, the, four, the applications were perfectly done. She got approved quickly and got six for six. That's how it all worked on the sheet. And in the interview, she goes on to detail which grant programs they were, any challenges she went through when applying and, and uh, you know, how she used the money, how much money she got. It's pretty exciting stuff there. But ultimately, uh, it's just fun to see these kind of success stories coming in. Now, you know, think about this. Over a million people a year are receiving these grants and subsidies, et cetera. And if you're not doing it, you have to ask yourself, why not? You know, because after all, who pays for these grants? Not me. We do. You and me. You do and I do. We all collectively pay into the pot. And the government decides how to spend the money. A lot of it goes to fund these, these programs. And so if you're not using these grant programs uh, for yourself, just know that other people are using your tax dollars to pay for their kitchen renovation or their real estate deal or their business or the kids' education. So it's time to turn that ship around and use this money for yourself. And, you know, here's what I've done for you. I've taken a lot of my own money to reinvest in your success. What I've done is I've taken about $750,000, about three quarters of a million dollars, and I've put that towards very skilled, gifted assistants who work for me, research people who work for me. And we set out on a mission to uncover all the grant programs that are out there in the area of real estate, business, and education from federal, state, and local sources, including the, the people who are the contact people for each program, like the, the program administrators, their phone number, their email, even the website to download the application form from, including the eligibility and much more, more. I put all that information together into my grant funding system package, which I'm making available to you right now. Let me show it to you real quick because this program is something that you desperately need. If you are in business, if you're a real estate investor, if you're a homeowner or a wannabe, you need these program manuals. The first one is my free money for real estate program manual. This one here shows you how to get money to pay for renovations, um, buying, down payments, closing costs, all kinds of things, rehabbing. If you're into developing, even the dollar home program, houses as cheap as a dollar, you guys. I've had clients get those to houses. There's money to fix them up as well. Uh, first time home buyers, which is called the Good Neighbor Program. Police officers, teachers, and firefighters, and ambulance drivers, they get houses for half price from a special program from HUD off of current market value. Uh, for profit programs, non profit programs, uh, home ownership, special needs, you name it, all the way in down here. The audio CD program that accompanies this manual, this audio CD, I walk you through the manual in great detail. Hundreds and hundreds of programs are in this manual to help you get the money for your real estate needs. Now, this is the real estate program. The education program that I put together comes with not hundreds, but thousands of programs. I go through state, I go through federal and private sector funding to show you how to get money to pay for everything. You know, when you have this program in your hands, you don't pay for school or, or college or university. The scholarships cover all of it. The, the CD covers it all as well. Now, again, I got the online audio in addition to the CD. So don't get upset if you see a CD here and you're from the 19, uh, well, if you're from the 1980s, you probably have a CD player like me, but you get the idea here. Um, you know, you get the online version as well. Now, the manuals are mailed to you. The CDs are mailed to you, but you can download the audio as well. Now, the business program manual, this one here is for all the entrepreneurs watching right now. So real estate entrepreneurs and any other kind of entrepreneur, we give you all federal funding, state funding, and more. The audio program walks you through it, how to do it, et cetera. You're going to love it. Um, you got all four manuals included because this fourth manual is my step-by-simple step how to apply. You get the other three manuals that show you the programs. This one shows you what to do with the program how to properly submit your application form and not make any errors or any mistakes. I give you examples. I show you example forms. I give you step-by-step -step instructions. Do this, do that. I'll show you how to get your form from the back of the line all the way to the front of the line so you get approved or considered first for the grant application. Or not the minimum amount of money, but the maximum amount as well. There's things that I teach you in this manual and on this audio program that will get you approved quickly. So all four of these is my complete grant funding system. You need the whole thing. You need all four manuals because this is going to provide you money for your business, your real estate deals. Someone in your life somewhere is going to want an education at some point. The how-to shows you how to do it, and that's pretty cool. Now, this program retails, retails for $4,000. What a bargain. 
Wow, because think about that. As a person receiving, you know, tens of thousands of dollars in, in free grants as a result of this program, um, that is a gift that keeps on giving. Because let's face it, once you got this knowledge in your hands, you don't ever stop applying. You can get two and three and four grants every single year. I've got clients getting two and three and four grants a month. This is pretty cool. Um, this, this program costs $4,000 is a bargain, but it's not what you're going to pay because I'm going to show you how to get a massive, massive discount off of that because you're a part of the Protect Wealth family. Now, here's, here's um, Tom. To show you how good this program works, read this. Tom says, Dear Chris, Thanks to your program, I was able to get $100,000 in less than seven days. $100,000 come easily, but the sound direction your program provided, it wasn't that difficult. Thank you, Chris. Think about that. $100,000 in a week. Wow. Here's Abby. Now, Abby, uh, she actually took my, my training as well, got the course, got the program, went through it, and found out that she was eligible and qualified for a, almost a quarter million dollars. She got that approved at $245,000 in just under about two to three months. And this literally bought the building for her business. So think about that for a second. Bought the property as well. Success stories have been pouring in all across the country um, for, for years and years. Now, I'm sharing with you right now, people are getting a few thousand, tens of thousands, in some cases, hundreds of thousands of dollars for what they're doing. And most of these clients are people who just simply got the program, Follow the simple instructions, and we're successful. Uh, all of these clients are my clients. Now, I'm not going to show you all of my clients, and for one simple reason, I got too many. If I showed you every client I've helped get a grant over the last 20 years, um, and you know, it would take me probably an hour to an hour and a half at this speed to show you all of them. I'm going to speed this up here, get through this. This is just a few random ex examples of clients I've helped. Uh, they're no different than you. They're people who's, who first saw me in a live meeting or in an online webinar on Zoom like this, got the program, took action, got the grant, and they're just sharing their success story with me. My goal is to help you get a grant. Think about what kind of money you need or what you're trying to accomplish, and let me help you get the funding for those needs, okay? So with all that being said, this slideshow is actually longer than I thought. There's just a few people here. I've helped so many more than this do this, but with all that being said, let's go through a quick summary. Over 20 million people, when you add on top of the million of business, the million people for real estate, college, university, and training, et cetera, 20 million people are getting funded every year through these government grant programs. It's time for you to make the same choice and get funded as well. Now, a couple of things. I did talk about my program, the free money system. You need this in your success library. If you are an investor of any kind, you probably have real estate courses. This goes hand in hand with all of them. Now, I did tell you it costs $4,000 retail. I got some good news for you. Because you are a great part of the Protect Wealth family, I'm going to give you a massive discount making this program available tonight for the amount of free, meaning you get my program for free, plus I'm going to include these incredible bonuses. So free means free, you guys. Pay, pay close attention here. I'm going to give you these bonuses first. The first bonus is the grant locator. I'm going to talk about the free course in a second, but first is the bonuses. The grant locator is your first bonus. I mentioned it costs $79 plus tax plus shipping per month. That's the cost of the program. But when you become a client here, I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. I'm going to give you the first two of these for free. You heard me free. But I do need you to, and I'm going to cover the $79. I'll cover the ship, the, 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 not the, the, the tax, the 79 and the tax. I want you to cover the, what's called the shipping slash trial period offer. Now we do charge a small fee for that, for the handling and getting you set up on this. It's $6. And I'll send you the first three of these. I'll give you a, th a third bonus one here right now um, for a no charge. Um, you, I'll pay the $70, et cetera, but you're going to cover the shipping slash trial handling fee on issues number two and three only. The first one, zero, nothing. Why? Because the first one, I'm going to ship it with your course. That, that beautiful one with the, with the U.S. flag on it, that comes with your course in the package, in the box, and no, no shipping or anything on that one. The next two, we do have the trial fee of $6.00. Um, but what happens now? Are you locked in? You can't ever stop. You can cancel if you want to at any point, you guys. This is not a locked in deal. This is a month to month thing here. But if you decide that you want to go beyond those first three issues, I'm not going to charge you $70. I'm going to give you um, a massive discount of 50% on this. 
And I'm going to throw in another massive bonus I haven't even told you about yet. Um, I'm going to cut it back to 30 end a month, all inclusive, includes tax, includes handling fees and shipping, etc. But that bonus I'm going to throw in once you're at the $39 a month level, and you can stop whenever you want to shoot me an email, say, Chris, you know what, Grant Locator, love it, great information, great topics, love the interviews, but you know what, I want to cancel, you can cancel for no problem. But as long as you maintain your membership, I'm going to give you full unlimited access to 13 years worth of monthly audio programs and newsletters. This is worth over $10,000. It's got 13, it's about 150 lessons, 13 years times 12 months a year, but 150 lessons, I might have to be off in the math on that, of real estate advice, education advice, um, business advice, uh, grant application advice, interviews. You're going to love this massive library worth over $10,000 as a free added bonus. Uh, people just love the grant locator. You will too. You get the first three for free. These cover the $6 shipping and trial uh, handling on, on months two and three. You're going to love this. You get the online streaming as well, by the way. Now, the next bonus is my Quick Start Live class. Next one starting soon in a couple of weeks. Watch for some emails from me. I'll also text you. And when you get this information, sign up for it. You're going to register for it. And we're going to deep dive and go deep on this. Now, how you get this is you buy my program, you buy my course, and I'll include this as a free bonus too. So this is your, your third bonus here is the Quick Start Live online class for getting my program. So that is that bonus. Now, here's the really big bonus. I'm going to include this. I decided to include my one-on-one -on -one consulting, not for everybody, not for everybody. Why? Because it's with me. I work with you. I help you. I work with you. I do research for you. I, I help you with your application forms, your business plans. I do so much work for you personally. Um, I cannot do it for everyone on here tonight. So I've got to limit this to the first 20 only. And the reason why 20 only is because that's all the time commitment I can make right now. And I'm fully booked up at that point. So if you are one of the first 20 people to say, yes, Chris, I want to do this. I'm going to waive, waive, not charge that 10,000 fee. That's an included free bonus for you. So now you've got two $10,000 bonuses already. What's next, Chris? Well, well, you get 20 people only you are going to get this. So you get to act quickly to get this, uh, to get the consulting included for free. Now, here's how we get this done for free. You know, it normally retails for $4,000. This is true, right? But I can't just give everyone on here the course for free tonight because of a couple of reasons. One is to do with your success and one's to do with my being able to stay in business. Let's talk about me first. If I just hand out courses willy-nilly to everyone who asks, I've got costs associated with helping those clients. I've got staff I've got to pay, lights i got to keep turned on, i got advertising and marketing costs, i got a lot of expenses to run my company. After all the grants that we receive, my net cost my net break-even point just to service one client for one year is $2,497. That's my cost to service one client for one year. So if I give my course away for free, I'll go broke eventually because I'm paying those costs with no revenue coming in. Does that make sense? So here's what we're going to do. To help you, I need you to help me to help you. Okay, So I can help you get the free course. Here's how we're going to do it. I need your help to help me to help you. Do one simple thing here tonight. Cover my cost of $2,497. That is the cost to service one client. That client, by the way, is you. I'm going to use that to service you, to take care of you, to help you get grants. And what I want from you in exchange for, my, the, for this back is I want your success story. We're going to call this a refundable deposit. You pay this up front and I give it back to you. You pay me tonight. Now I've got my cost covered. I can get my staff involved. I'm okay financially, and I can actually help you get the grant. And then when you, as soon as you get the grant, whether it's a couple months, a couple days, a couple of weeks, or even a, you know, up to a full year from now, show me the success of that. Show me the proof of that grant. And that very day, I refund it because how I can do that is I have got uh, your permission to use your success story in my advertising, my marketing. Advertising and marketing is a legitimate deductible expense. And so I will deduct that cost, give you the money back. So now you've got my course for free. You pay up front. What that does for you is it increases your motivation, your, your drive, your desire to get the refund is increased significantly. And so with that being said, you've got the proper motivation you need. You've got some skin in the game up front. You're going to get it back. And I have got the, the, the finances to be able to help as many people as possible. Now, bonuses, don't forget, you get the grant locator for free, those first three episodes. You get the back issues 
for 13 years of them for free worth $10,000. You get the quick start online class worth 500 included as a free bonus as well. And the first 20 people to take action uh, in a minute here are gonna get the consultation included as well. And so just know that it's over $24,000 in total value. The $4,000 course, the two $10,000 bonuses, the 500 and the, and the three grant locators adds up to 24,737,000. So, so, you get the idea, it's on the screen there, in total value, that's what you get for a refundable deposit of 2,497. Now, I'm gonna send my guarantee to you in the box. Show me the proof of it within one full year. You get a full entire year to show me the grant and I'll give you that refund. Like all my clients I've shown you going by here, you're gonna see uh, that you've seen here on tonight's uh, um, well, webcast, I've shown you example after example of people showing their, their smiling photos, holding up their award checks. Share that with me. Um, so there's, I'm giving you a double guarantee, in fact, and here's how it works. Guarantee number one, I've kind of told you about already. Show me your testimonial of you getting a grant with your smiling photo proof of your grant within one full year. I'll refund 100% of your purchase, no questions asked. Now, we do exclude COVID funding because everyone qualifies for COVID funding automatically. So we want to make sure it's a real grant program that's like traditional. Um, but we're going to make it uh, easy for you to get that because I'm going to help you. Um, show me that proof. You get one full year. I give you the refund and, and you're much happier because you keep the course, you keep the training, you keep the consulting and you get your $24.97 back. But the double guarantee is you got you got you know a week to change your mind. You know the clock starts when your course delivered to you. We're going to track it to you. Go through it if you don't feel it's the best decision that you made this year. Um, you know simply let us know with no questions asked. You can get your money back in the course as well. So double guarantee there for you. And now just to recap, you get all of this incredible value over two thousand twenty four thousand dollars in total value. Normally a four thousand dollar deposit. And those bonuses included for free, discounted down to $2,497. Now, with that being said, Kendall got on the phone with me earlier today and he actually asked a huge favor. He says, Chris, we offered our clients a lot of opportunities during the three days. They've some of them invested a lot in, in different systems and, and mentoring and coaching, et cetera. And some of them, frankly, are, are a little bit, you know, starting to feel the pinch, a little bit tapped out. Is there anything that I could do? Is there any way I could use some grant monies or something to lower the cost? And I thought about this. You know what? There is some grant monies I got access to. And they've got discretionary use as long as they're used in my business. Now, this is my business, right? So if I use these grant funds uh, in my business, I can use them. And I've got about $20,000 at my disposal. So here's what I decided I'm going to do this afternoon. I told Kelly, so you know what? If, if, if we got the 20 people who say yes, uh, and we're talking the next 10 minutes kind of thing. If you say yes now, because um, these 20 spots will go quickly, um, and you're one of the first 20 people to take action, not only will you get my consulting for free, um, included as a free bonus, but you're also going to have $1,000 go towards, from me, from grant monies, towards your deposit, reducing it down to only 1497 just 1497 That's it. 497 that's all you pay. That's all you ever pay. And you get that money back guaranteed in exchange for your success story. So what you want to do is hop on right now and go to protectwealth.com slash grants. It's showing on the screen. Go to this website here, protectwealth.com forward slash grants. Um, protectwealth.com slash grants. What you're going to notice is it's going to show the bonuses. As long as it's showing the consulting and mentoring on there, you do have the 20 spots. Um, I can guarantee you that will be available for 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, my staff and I are going to take a look. And if if um, we were at the 20, we're going to switch to the landing page over and it's no longer going to have that bonus on there. The price will go up by $1,000 because I've used up those, those 20,000 in grant funds. So get on the website now. Go to protectwealth.com slash grants. And then uh, just simply let, um, you know, put your put your payment information in there. It'll safely and securely transact that order. And then you're going to get an immediate confirmation that you've got everything. You get a welcome email from me. Your consultation can begin whenever you want to. My course will be on the way. You'll get a tracking number tomorrow. Um, so I'm, I'm paying the shipping costs. It's coming from me to you via FedEx at my expense. You don't pay shipping. And so you're going to get all the information tomorrow. But the welcome letter tonight. And just know that if you're somebody who is 
one of two things here. Let's say that you don't have all the room in one card, but you can put it on two or three different cards. If you combine like 500, 500, 500 kind of thing, or 1,000 and 500, whatever, you, whatever it is up to you, you have to split it on multiple cards. Obviously, the website cannot do that. Um, or if you're somebody who says, Chris, I can do it on Monday, but not today. I've got, I get a paycheck coming. I can do it Monday, um, but not today. What I want you to do, if you're one of those people, either you have to do multiple cards or delay your payment for whatever reason, uh, go to your email and find it, any email from Kendall and click reply and say, Kendall, um, I can't afford to do it today. I can do it Monday or I can do it next Thursday or I can, I can put it onto two cards. Please call me. Somebody from Kendall and Don's office will call you. They'll reach out to you probably tomorrow and they will, they will they'll work out a system or a deal with you where they can make it happen and, and they can process over the phone, that kind of thing and uh, make it uh, work for you. But you got to email. Now, I will save, I will save a couple of spots that includes the consulting mentoring and includes it a, that, that last second thousand dollar discount to $14.97. I'll save two spots for, for if you email Kendall now that you're going to commit to doing it next week or, or in the, your next payday, or if you're going to put it onto two different cards. Uh, but most people go to the website, protectwealth.com, go there now, place your order now, lock in, be one of those first 20 people. Um, I'm saving two for the for the uh, people have to split payments. So we're going to time stamp your email. So Kendall will see when the time your email came into him. And if you are coming in in the next 10 minutes, he will save that consulting for you. He will save that extra discount for you. You'll get that, of course, locked in. But you got to reply to Kendall now if you are a multiple card payment person or a delayed payment person. Everyone else, if you can make the $14.97 payment right now tonight, go to protectwealth.com slash grants and go there and secure your online order now. Again, first 20 people that do this, we'll hold it for 10 minutes once we get off, off the Q&A here. We'll hold it for 10 minutes and then we're going to switch that landing page over and raise the price a 1000 And also, um, as, long, as, as long as the 20 spots are gone and then make the bonuses, um, you know, that, that one consulting bonus, uh, go away. If the, 10, the 20 spots are gone, we will we will have to revert back to the normal pricing here, okay? So protectwealth.com slash grants. Um, you get all these bonuses worth over $24,000 in total value, um, discounted ridiculously here to make it affordable. You guys, this is a no-brainer. Everyone needs this course. You need to have this in your possession to help with your investing, with your deal-making, fund your deals, Kendall, I think this is um, an offer that will make a lot of sense to your clients. They'll, they'll benefit from it greatly. I know so many of your clients have done so already. I showed you, I showed a few examples of the well over $100,000 success stories of your clients who've done this. And I just look forward to helping people on here tonight. I know we've got, geez, I think there's like, there, at one point, there's over 88 people on here just a couple minutes ago. They're probably all off buying the course right now. So you guys, <laughs> if, if you're seeing the numbers going lower and lower on your screen there, uh, we're down to 70 people online. That means that people are buying the course. So you're missing out if you're still here. So um, you can you can still listen to us, but order the course, protectwealth.com slash grants. Go there. Your click in the chat screen. It's on the chat screen, but it's it, clickable. It's, in the chat. It's, it's, it's a clickable link in the chat screen. Perfect. Thank you. Click the link in the chat that Kendall put in there. It'll leap you right over to the uh, the order page. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Kendall, thanks yeah, for letting Chris, me go uh, here. Thank you. Seriously, so generous. My favorite part always is because I see new students who I've met personally face-to-face -face when we used to do live events pre-COVID. I know a lot of them personally. I recognize a lot of the names from our live stream events. Guys, I'm serious about that. It really is fun because we've seen a lot of our students literally get money. And did you, and I forget, did you share kind of the average? I know our students are a little above average, which we like to think. What's kind of the average that our students are getting usually? Your students raise my average, you know, that's, <laughs> that's what happens. It, it actually is over $20,000 in the very first application. Um, you guys, you know, this this is life-changing stuff here. I mean, think about that. $14.97, you get all of this. Amazing. I mean, just the course and manuals alone would be massive to your investing. But when you get the one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, when you get the, the grant locator, when you get that quick start grant course, which is not showing here, but you get that, you get the back issues, all it's over $24,000. You need this, get this. Um, and uh, no brainer. Um, yeah. Yeah. It really absolutely. is. It's a no brainer, Chris. We, we seriously are always so impressed because 
And when we talk to them, so Don and my, you know, myself will talk to a lot of students, you know, less here in the office. We'll talk to a lot of students, you know, one-on-one -on -one, and they're so excited because that you mentioned some of the residential assisted living, some of the real estate investors we work with. And I know several business owners uh, and even scholarships for school are directly from our events. They've attended and been able to do some of this too. It's so cool. It, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. You're super generous. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad to do and it. I know that'll go fast. I know <laughs> you're, you're nice to do 20, Chris, because I know that'll go fast. Well, for sure. And, uh, you know, I know you got some Q&A there too. Let's, let's take care let's of people's questions and get those answered for, for folks so they can get, they can get off here quick and, and go by the program. Great. Okay. So uh, we're asking some questions about college. So my daughter's going to college this fall. Is it too late? It's never too late. And, um, you know, the best the best answer is start researching what's available last summer. But if you are in the thick of things now, you got to do your research quick. So here's a, here's a here's a short answer. Get my program tonight and tell me what school she's going to, what she's studying. Let my team assemble a laundry list of of programs to apply to. Um, you'll be so glad that you, that'll help shortcut your your success and get your, your daughter's education paid for it. Programs are not all used up yet. They are going. They're being applied for now. The applications are being received by the funding agencies. But, you know, with all that being said, my own niece applied to a scholarship that they had already closed the door on. It was like deadline passed. But that scholarship was offered where she lived from her, her town. She lives in a very small town. What she found out was no one applied for it. And so they reopened the application window and she got in and she got it. She was the only one who applied. So she, got, she actually got it by default of all things. But I mean, that's just kind of a fun story. You'll find that you'll get scholarships no matter when you apply. But the mother load of availability is, of course, early in February and January. We're only in mid-March. So you're not, it's not the end of the world here. But get my program. Let me help you. and We'll get that done. Yeah. Well, okay, Chris. So my daughter's 14. So we're working on it. Uh, yes. We are planning on applying and and definitely I'm not planning on playing for college here. That's that's the that's the goal here. So kind of cool. Better late than never. That, that's Where great. Uncle Chris comes in. Uncle Chris. All right. <laughs> all right. Chris, do you have a grant reporting requirement organization documentation? OK, yes, yes. Obviously you do. That's the, the program here. Yes. Got it. Well, well, most 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 agencies want you to they, they require certain things to show that you're either meeting the goals or deadlines or milestones. They want to sh show that you're utilizing the funds as directed as appropriate in the in the program. It's not invasive or over, overbearing. It's usually just you know, send off a smaller report or do a little questionnaire here and there. Um, if, it's a, if it's a real estate renovation, they might have an inspector come by and verify the project got actually renovated. Those kinds of things, but. Uh, I don't require it. you know people people send their their success stories to me. I don't require it though. I've I've actually bumped into people walking through airports. Chris Johnson. I say yes. They say <laughs> I think you're training two years ago. I didn't tell you I got I got three hundred thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars. It's like you know, and these are people who never even bothered telling me their success success stories. They said uh, they said um, you know I could have got my money back from you on your refund offer, but you know I got so much money I didn't feel good doing that so. That's well, you know, anyway. I think that's totally fair. I bet you uh I've talked to a few Chris. I know that I've got some and they said they never applied for it. They felt the same way. I mean, obviously you can. Super generous of you. I, I, that's awesome, Chris. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Vicky's asking, what is your success rate? And that's hard to gauge, right? It's high, Vicky. It's very, very high. Um, and you know, I don't require or report or track or make people tell me um, you know, every time they apply that they get approved or not. So I really don't know. But I do know that it is very high. Um, you know, the the there's there's a certain percentage of people who don't do anything to help themselves. They'll buy a course. They'll never open the book. You know, we can't help those people. There's a certain percentage of people who give up really easily. They might they might um, um, you know do one real estate offer, they get turned down, and they 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 shut down their real estate investing uh, dreams at that point. Um, the people who all right, diligent, follow through, stick with it, go through the program, let me work with them. If you don't get your first applications uh, approved, you'll get the second one approved. It's very, very high. So um, you just got to make sure that you're doing things properly and you stick with it, you'll be successful. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because you're right. You, no one's going to force you to do it. You've got to take the initiative. And sometimes, like, you know, a lot of us work for employers or different things over the years. We work harder for our employers than we do for ourselves. 
make the grants program your employer, if you will, and, and get it done. I love it. That's that's the best way to make things happen. Schedule it, make it happen. Because Chris, I really feel like, and you probably vouch for this, if you do it, the chances are super high to get something because there's thousands of opportunities out there. You know, maybe apply for, let's say you apply for 20 and you get two. I mean, whatever, right? <laughs> It's usually better odds than that, but uh, yes. It probably is. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. Are there income limits on the grants? Sometimes. Sometimes there are, but usually not. Um, you know, people make the mistake of assuming grants are only for low-income people, but that's a mistake because while some, like, again, look at the eligibility. If some programs say you must earn income less than this to be able to be eligible for it. So those are geared for low income people. For example, rental subsidies is a good example of that one. Um, or some scholarships are based on, on need, which is income. Other ones are based on merit or, or interests. Um, I mean, there's a, there's, a, there's a scholarship if you are of a certain height. So higher than this and less than this, but if you're in between in the sweet spot, there's no grant for you in that particular program. Um, some grants are if you're a vegetarian. Some are if you're not a vegetarian. So it's they, there's always like like I think Pat James famously talks about the cruise ship. You can't deduct it, but turn the page, you'll find one that says you can. So um, you know grants. There's if there's a grant that says no over here. There's one that says yes over here. Um, with with income, uh, most of them have no bearing on your income whatsoever. So it's, it's a good question, but there's so many programs that have different rules. There's not one fixed rule or answer for every program. Yeah, like we said at the beginning uh, a little bit, I, this is so true. If any of you read any books about uh, millionaires, multimillionaires, people who have come from rags to riches kind of stories, those kind of people uh, always, always, always are learning more and educating and they become millionaires. And they still, a lot of them, don't pay for college. They do grants. They do scholarships. Well, they have the money to pay for it. So what? They're smart. They know how to get grants and scholarships and do more. And that is exactly what they do here. They just Millionaires do things differently. You know, it's not that much harder, just different. That's true. All right. Mr. Education, is this only for college, trade school, private grade, private grade school? Everything, all the above. We help people go to private school. Um, paying for, you know, advanced degrees, masters, PhDs, trade schools. I mean, all kinds of things. It's just, it's whatever you need. There's, there's going to be something for you, Dexter. Great question. That's a great question. I love it. Uh, education. All right. Okay. Anonymous attendee. That's a fantastic name, by the way. It must be French. Anyway. <laughs> it's my wife watching us. Who knows? Yeah. So again, another income question but yeah potentially and that really is true chris when we've looked at these it doesn't matter your income for, uh, you know and some of them it does some of them it doesn't doesn't matter i, I love it like our assisted living investors you know, they might spend millions on a home uh -huh. the cool thing is like you do some renovations or things like that or your know, energy credits things like that different things energy uh there's it doesn't matter the income so if you don't find one look for more <laughs> all right are these for available for resident aliens? If you're here legally, mm. yes. In most cases, as long as you're legal, you can qualify for funding. Even your, your foreigner uncle who might be in a different country, a different continent, can qualify for U.S. grants as long as that, wow. that person has got someone legally they're partnered up with. So um, I think I showed you the innovation grant program. 51% um, of the ownership must be legally in the U.S., Four and a half percent could be from some other country. No, that's really that's, cool. I didn't know that. That's not political contributions. That is, that's grants for your business. That's yeah. cool. Well, hey, a lot of family overseas, different things like that. That makes sense for a lot of people. I, I like mm -hmm. that. All right, sir. Are loans easier or less complicated than grants to get? Hmm, good question. It's a good question, and I mean they're more plentiful and more available, and they're. They're a little bit easier to get a, get approvals on, is is the answer. Um, but you know, again, they, they look at the they look at both differently because the loans are um, they're backed by the government. That's what makes them so easy to get, and the application forms are quite streamlined. So, um, but the grants, you know, if there is any need to repay, that's not even considered in the grant world too. So it's hard to say they're they're they're, whole, they're a little bit different dynamic. But you know, apply to whatever you're eligible for. 
Don't pick and choose. Say, hey, I'm eligible for these grants, these loans, apply to all of them. Get it. You, get it. Uh, you know, it's interesting comparing it to like, a, I'm getting a loan on my house, for example. We all know the paperwork and stuff with that. That could be monotonous, but a lot of things, I mean, this is interesting too with, with grants is there's trillions out there to get and there's trillions of money being loaned out. It's just different, you know, just a different way of getting things. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. I like that. All right. Are there grants for a financial consulting business? It doesn't matter what your business is. There's no, there's no, like, there's not a, like a list of all kinds of businesses, which ones get certain grants. There is business funding programs for a business. And as long as you can show you've got a viable business, i.e. a business plan, show, like as, as Kevin O'Leary in the Shark Tank says, show me the money. How are you making money? Is it, is it a real business? Is there something there? And um, if your financial services business can show that you've got clients, you've got overhead costs, you've got needs for expenses, et cetera, to run that business, there's going to be a grant for you as well. Yeah, it's neat. Don has a brother who does grant writing for a university and mm -hmm. they spend their all day applying, 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 applying. They can do that all day, all week. It's a full-time position. Every university does this because they're out there. There's programs out there. So government allocates that money. It's there. So just got to take the initiative and do it. There's <laughs> there's some more out there. So it's kind of cool. All right, Deepa, you're asking again another income limit around. So a family making around two hundred thousand a year. Are there grants? Yeah, no, no cap, right? Yeah, don't worry about the income, you guys. We'll find the ones that you qualify for. All right, it's there. All right, is it tax free? Uh, grants are non-taxable for the most part. This is true. That's kind of neat. Double whammy. All right. Uh, okay, Deepa, for families. Okay, we got that. Yep. So we did that. Good questions. Uh, beautiful. I think we're getting through most of them. Awesome. Um, Chris, okay. I appreciate you so much. Like I said, my favorite part is seeing the faces of our students holding up those checks because uh -huh. they did it. And, and really, we talked. I talked to one of them, and I said, "So how how difficult was it for you?" And she said, "I forget. It was Pam." She says, "It wasn't that hard. I just took the time to fill out some information, do what they said, like you said." fill out basically what they're asking for. If it fits what you're doing, do what they're asking for, submit it. It's not, it's not that hard. That's kind of neat. You guys, you're thinking about doing this. Stop thinking, start doing. Um, <laughs> go to protectwealth.com slash grants. While there's still some left, I suspect we're probably getting close to the 20. I really don't know. I haven't, I, excuse me. I haven't gone and checked yet, but yeah. I'm losing my voice already. <clears throat> but Help me out here, Kendall. Go check. Uh, go go order the program. I'll check in a second. If they're gone, they're gone. But once they are done, we're going to take that website down. It'll be probably a few more minutes here, but uh, go there now. And again, if you have to delay payment or <clears throat> do two cards or more cards than that, um, no, I'm, I'm not endorsing you max out four cards. Don't yeah. do that. Save yeah. money for groceries and expenses and gas. That's all important. But um, you know, don't don't let me take your last available dollars there. Uh, I don't need it that badly. Um, but you, um, if you are someone who can make it work somehow, email Kendall, uh, timestamp that email. He'll get it in his inbox and his team will reach out to you tomorrow and come up with a workable plan. We're easy to work with. We want to help you, we want to work with you. We do have this price up front to put that uh, motivation and all important motivation skin in the game uh, on your side so that you don't not do this you actually step up and make it happen so that you can get that refund and it also helps us uh, provide the services that we do to our clients as well so uh, but we yeah. will give you that refund we, we write kendall seen the reach one checks that we do it's it's fun Absolutely. to get refund checks i, I can ask for that all day yep i yep. brought them to your events i've actually handed them to to the people in your events <laughs> this is for the grant you got last week at last month's seminar so well, I've seen the hugs a couple of times. So they, yes. they, they seem to like you a lot, you know, and that's how we feel. Don and I feel like it's doing a service to our students who, you know, want to you know, find different ways of getting extra ways of funding their investments, their businesses and different things they're doing, education. We're all about that. So Chris, we feel like you're a valuable resource. We're all about that. We've seen the results. I can vouch for it. We've seen the refund. It's kind of fun. So Chris, again, thank you so much. Uh, hope you and your family are doing well. And I hope that you, especially Nikki, is getting lots of sleep. 
She is. Don't worry. She's getting a lot of sleep. Perfect. <laughs> well, cute little baby, but congratulations. And everybody, thank you so much. Uh, again, uh, protectwealth.com slash grants. If you need anything, please reach out. Uh, myself, Chris, be happy to help you. Thanks, everyone. Have an awesome rest of your night. Bye for now. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much.